welcome back let us see few of the applications or codes of file processing in java we are going to use the streams for performing these file processing operations now we are going to write java program which will be counting the number of digits present in a text file and that we have to display on the screen so what logic we have to apply over here we have to open this text file in read mode that is in input mode because we want to read which character is present how many characters are there like that so the source is file and the destination is screen so we need to create a input stream which will be reading contents from this source in our java program and the output stream will be going to our system dot out that is screen so for counting the number of digits present in a text file we have to read the contents of file character by character so let us try to implement this code suppose we are going to have class cpy with main function because the digit if it is in file it will be treated as a character so as we are supposed to count the number of digits so we have to read the contents of file character by character so for character purpose we have char ch variable for the end of file we will take one variable suppose b and for counting purpose i am taking one variable which is initialized to 0 as our source is file we are supposed to read the contents from file character by character so we will create object of file reader suppose the name of that stream we have given as r and the name of file is abc.txt now first of all we will go to the bin folder and we will check is there abc.txt file in our bin folder e suppose yes there is a text document abc having contents hi hello bye there are no digits so let us put digits over here suppose like this so as of now i have given total number of digits 3 and 4 5 6 7 8 save the file so it should give us the output as total number of digits are 8 let us close this file now we have open this abc.txt file in input mode which will read the contents character by character and the name of that path is r okay now we have to read till the end of file so while while we have to read in b variable from r dot read till it is not equal to minus 1 so we are reading from r stream with read function and taking that into b variable and if it is not minus 1 means if it is not an end of file so what we have to do we have to convert this b which is integer into a character and take that into our ch variable so ch is equal to use type casting char to convert b variable into character and assign that to ch now we will check if this ch is greater than or equal to single quote zero because in universe there can be digit or any number which is not going out of the zero to nine range so we are putting a condition to check the digit is that if ch is greater than or equal to zero and and if your ch is having any character which is between 0 to 9 range if it is found as a digit we are supposed to count it so we will put cnt++ 
this whole process has to be repeated till the end of file once the end of file is occurred we have to close our stream r dot close and we have to display message on the screen that's why we simply write system dot out dot println number of digits in file r and the answer will be in cnt variable main close class close save the file cpy.java the name of file is cpy.java compile the file java c cpy.java run the file java cpy now it has given the answer number of digits in a file are 8 because in our abc.txt file there are 3 plus these 5 digits are 8 digits now suppose same program we will continue to count the number of vowels present in the text file so same logic instead of this if condition we have to put another logic if the character is equal to equal to a or or the ch is equal to equal to e or or ch is equal to i or ch is equal to equal to a e i o u we have missed o ch is equal to equal to o if it is it means what we have done number of vowels in file r so what we have done over here we have opened the text file in a read mode which will read the contents from text file character by character and we will check each character whether it is matching a e i o u and if it matches with this five any of the five character the counter should be incremented and the number of vowels should be displayed on the screen let us check the code if the character is read character by character into b and b is converted into character and assigned into ch variable and we are checking whether ch is equal to a e i o or u and if it matches then it will increment the counter we will close the stream and we will display the number of vowels in file r let us compile the code okay match ch we have to close the brackets is equal to equal to a or e here is extra bracket move, remove that save compile run number of vowels in file are four let us check our abc.txt file i one two three and four number of vowels are four so by this way we have counted the number of vowel present in a text file now suppose if we want to count the number of lines present in a text file same logic we will apply we will just change the condition if ch is equal to equal to in single quote we will put slash n because it will be counting the number of lines present in a text file let us compile and run the code number of lines in file are 4 because here it will be 1 2 3 and 4 so number of lines are 4 now if you want to count the number of blank spaces in a file so simply in a single quote we will give the space and we will put over here number of spaces in file r again compile the code run the code number of spaces in file are zero okay we have to check the code if ch is equal to equal to single quote we have to give the blank space 
it will count the space save the code compile it and number of spaces in file are zero because there is no space over here simply new lines are there suppose i write here hi how are you so here has to be one two and three blank spaces save the code close our text file and run the code again because in earlier code there was no blank space now there are number of spaces in file are three if you want to count the number of tabs present in a file so we have to change the condition to single quote slash t and we have to give the message number of tabs in file are save the code but before that we will change in abc.txt file suppose i am writing here i am i am giving tab key good i am giving tab key completely well tab key bye let us save the code how many tab it shows let us check for that seems one two compile number of tabs in file are three because here i had given one tab one two three four it has counted the one over here two three and here four now this is how we can check for each character in a text file by reading the contents of file character by character using file reader class so in this session we have seen about counting the number of vowels digits lines and blank spaces and tabs in a file by using file reader class thank you